All right, hello and welcome back. Now you have your video ready to go. You have your PowerPoint created. You have your video shot. You now have your video edited and now you're ready to do something with it. So one of the best and easy ways to do something with your video is to put it up on YouTube. And with YouTube, you have a whole bunch of different options on what you can do. You can host it on YouTube and so then you can get organic traffic on YouTube. Or you can use YouTube as essentially an embed tool and take your video and put it on any page you want. That's the awesomeness of YouTube. So I'm going to show you real fast how to upload things to YouTube. All right, so I'm on YouTube now and uploading stuff is super, super easy. So what I'm going to do is you're just going to hit this big upload button here. It's going to take you to the upload page. And then you have a whole bunch of different options as far as uploading your videos. You can create a webcam capture. So if you hit this button right here, it'll actually load up your webcam. And so then you can talk into the camera. You can also create a photo slideshow. You can add your Google Plus Hangouts on the air. And then an awesome feature of YouTube is you can add your videos on here and use YouTube to edit the videos. Now, they're not quite as robust as ScreenFlow Editor and iMovie and Camtasia Editors. But it's pretty amazing that you can edit videos on YouTube. So what you're going to do is you're just going to select your files or you can drag and drop them if you want. And then what I always do is I always do private here whenever I first upload my video. So then I can look at it, see what it looks like, edit my keywords, whatever it may be. So I'm just going to hit select my files here. I'm going to upload my test video. All right, so then it's going to take you to this page here. And that video was very, very small. And it's already processing my video. It's already been uploaded and it's now processing it. And sometimes you'll get this message right here. I've never noticed a problem, but this is kind of why you want to check and make sure that everything is running fine. Because sometimes with these screen flow, if YouTube can't see your face and your mouth talking, then it thinks that your video is out of sync. So you want to make sure that everything sounds good, everything looks good. That's why I always set it to private. So then what you're going to do is you're going to set up your title here. You're going to add your description. And then you're going to add your tags here as well. And a really cool feature of YouTube is, is if you start typing, you can actually get YouTube to give you a couple of awesome keywords that are ranking for your video. So if you do video here, you can actually get it to drop down a whole bunch of different options. None of those really apply here, but you can kind of keep testing and you can kind of see how it works. And then you also have your thumbnail here and it's going to set what it thinks is the default image as the best image on here. You can always custom upload your image. So if it can't find one that you want, you can always custom upload your image. You can also add your logo on here as well if you want that. And this is just the photo when it, before your video loads. So it'll have the photo and then it'll have the play button over it. So I'm just going to select this one right here, which is the one that it had already selected. And then I'm going to keep this as private because I don't want anybody to see this. And then I'm also going to change this to how to in style. You just kind of want to pick whatever category works best for you. And then hit save settings here. And now my settings are saved. So I can go to this link right here and it's going to show me my YouTube video. So you can see my video loads. It looks awesome on YouTube. And now actually nobody can see it. So you, whenever you're the owner of these videos, you actually have a couple of options down here on the bottom. You can add closed captioning. You could add annotations. You can add audio. And sometimes with screen recordings, you'll get these type of messages. Your video may be shaky. Considering this is my monitor sitting on a desk, I don't think it's shaky. But sometimes with these screen recordings, because YouTube is so used to, you know, a person on camera talking or presenting or doing whatever else, YouTube sometimes doesn't know what to do with these screen recordings. So you just want to watch and make sure that everything looks good and you're good to go. You also notice down here that it, ha it has an option to stabilize it, which is really, really cool. And then another nice part about YouTube is you have analytics. So YouTube will actually track your video however many times it was played and the success rate of that video based on how much people watch that video and how long they were attentive to watching that video. If they only let it load for three seconds and then clicked out of it, YouTube will tell you that. So YouTube will automatically get traffic on this page. But if you want to put this on your own page, what you can do is you can hit the share button here and it's going to give you a warning. Since my video is private, I'm going to have to change it to unlisted. 
So I'm going to hit my pencil here and I'm going to change it to unlisted. And unlisted just means that your video will only be shown by those who have a link. So it, you can give out the link to the YouTube video and it'll load for them. But if people search your video on YouTube or Google or wherever, it's not going to show up there. This is also effective for just using YouTube as a video embed tool like I'm about to show you. So I'm just going to hit the share button here and it's going to give you the link and then a whole bunch of share options. But what's really cool is you can hit this embed button here and it's going to give you an embed code that you can put on any page, on any website, wherever you want and the YouTube video will play. It's really, really cool. So this is a powerful, powerful feature of YouTube and they give it away for free. So then down here you have your video size so you can set whatever different size you want. If it's for online video and you're wanting it to take up most of the page, I recommend 720 or 480. Those are kind of the two standards. And then you have a couple of other options. You don't really need to worry about this. I usually do uncheck this show suggested videos when the video finishes. So then that makes it look like more of an embedded video because what this will do is it'll give recommendations on YouTube of other videos that are kind of like this. So I usually prefer to show them my own video or no video at all and have a link below the video or something like that if I'm embedding it off of YouTube. So now you have your video shot, it's edited, and it's now published on YouTube and you can start doing whatever you want with this. You can put out the link like we talked about, or you can, you can just put it as public on YouTube and start getting organic traffic off that. YouTube is so, so powerful. It gives you a whole bunch of different options. And that really is the wonderfulness of YouTube. So now you're done. You've created a video from scratch. All you had was an idea, and it's now hosted on YouTube for thousands and millions of people to see. So congratulations, you're done, you've created a video. Good job. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.